This is David Rodecker, and I'm going to talk about truncating large um, or huge database files, specifically the logs, because those contain data that can be disposed with if you trust that your database is not going to lose the uh, data file. So uh, let me start by saying that this should not be done with any sort of database that you want to preserve um, data on a date on a very frequent basis. It's meant for data that is more disposable that if you lost a few hours um, it's okay because we're going to be implementing a simple recovery model and that's not normal for SQL databases. So I came across a server where we had lots of uh, gigabytes of data files, uh, log files, and um, I've gotten rid of most of these and so I decided to stop for a second and just make this video. So this one, notice it has 353 megabytes in one log LDF file. And the way we're going to take care of this is, like I said, the uh, we need to change the recovery model to simple. So the way you do this is within Enterprise Manager, you right click on properties and on the database. And then there's a specific, um, in the options menu, recovery and we're going to change full to simple. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the store gateway here, uh, this database here. So if I right click, go to properties, and inside properties, I'm already there at options. And the database is currently set for full. I'm going to change that to simple. What this is going to allow me to do is uh, truncate the database to, un to a sizable level of small right away. So I'm going to hit OK. Now this didn't actually change the data file at all, but what it allows me to do is run a command to truncate the file. And that command is to dbcc shrink file and you give it the name of the database log. And if you don't know how to find the name of the database log, you can right click again, go into the properties, and you'll see the name of the file contains the name of the log. So in this case, the name is storegateway.log, or storegateway underscore log. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that name and put it there and hit run. And I'm not in the right database. You need to actually be in that database. So use store gateway. Then I go ahead and run it and it takes about a second. And when I come back over here, you'll see that that file went to one meg. It's going to go ahead and grow itself. But um, at this point, it doesn't need to grow much larger because the when it does a backup, it'll completely destroy the log file. So that's um, only be done though, like I said, for databases where you don't necessarily care about losing a few um, hours of data because it's only gonna be good as your last backup. If your server was to die halfway through, uh, you're gonna be hosed.